Hey guys, Brendan here, and there are a lot of really cool snake species on this planet. Um, so much so that if I try to put it into a video, I might as well make it a movie. <laughs> um, that's how many just really cool or bizarre looking snakes there are out there. Um, everybody sees the ball pythons, everybody sees the corn snakes, everybody sees the common ones. I mean, even the hog nose, for example, it's considered common by this point. There are snakes that make those look like puppy dogs. Um, so we're going to get into five of those today. So without further delay, let's get into it. Now this first species is not on the list because it is strikingly gorgeous or it's unique or weird in any way. Well, actually it is unique. It's unique in the fact that it's only found in one place. Now I have trouble pronouncing the Portuguese name, so I'm going to display that here. But in English, it is called Snake Island. Yep, the island is literally called Snake Island. It is also dubbed the most dangerous island on the planet. Now, the reason why is because there's no people on it, just snakes, a lot of snakes, and specifically the Golden Lancehead Viper. Now, this is a highly venomous viper, as most, actually all vipers are venomous. Um, and it's pretty much the sole resident of this island. Um, nobody knows how exactly the Golden Lancehead Viper got to this island. All they know is that it bred like rabbits, and now there are a crap ton of these vipers on this one isolated island, and that is the only place that these vipers are found. Which makes them pretty cool. They're a unique case. I mean, when there's so many of one species that they dedicate the entire island to you, that's, uh, that's saying something, and that's definitely worth a mention on really cool snakes. Now, this next entry is one that you might have heard about if you're somebody who likes really gorgeous reptiles, the dragon snake. Now, in my opinion, the dragon snakes are probably one of the coolest and most beautifulest looking snakes out there. It has these raised dorsal scales. It has this beautiful jet black appearance. It goes down the entire body of the snake. The entire snake is black. And it just looks like a dragon, the way that the scales are raised up. It is, I mean, you can see it in the picture up here, but yeah, I mean, the picture doesn't do it justice. Look up videos of this thing, because it is gorgeous just looking at it. And that's probably the only way you're going to be able to look at it, because keeping these snakes in captivity is next to impossible. It's been very difficult. Up until recently. Yeah, I just contradicted myself. I'm sorry. But recently, um, reptile keepers, a very experienced, very well-educated, know what they're doing, reptile keepers, have been able to keep dragon snakes in captivity. Yes, these very gorgeous, almost mythical-looking snakes are now being kept in people's collections. Experts' collections. I, wanna, I just want to make this clear, because a lot of people will see these really cool animals and go, I want this. Now, there are animals on this list that you can keep in captivity, but for now, leave the dragon snake keeping to the experts. I mean, trust me, I would die to have one of these, and I'm not rushing out my door to go find one, because I know we'll be dead in a day. So, yep. Dragon snakes. Really cool. Now, I just mentioned in the previous entry regarding dragon snakes that there are animals on this list that you can keep as pets, and they are commonly kept as pets. This one's not so common, but it is kept as pets, enough so that there is information and videos online of people who keep these, and you can find care guides. Relatively easy, actually. Just quick Google search, care guides. Anyways, I'm talking about the tentacle snakes. Now, tentacle snakes are fully aquatic snakes that basically sit in the water and resemble a stick. Up until the point you put food in the water, and then you realize, oh wow, I have a snake in there? <laughs> Um, that is basically a tentacle snake. Now, they're named that because they have little tentacles coming out of their heads. And it's really cool. They're like little prongs that kind of pop out. These snakes are really cool. But at the same time, if you're keeping a tentacle snake, the only thing you can have in that aquarium is the tentacle snake. Because if you put any fish in there, it will kill the fish. If you put any other sea creatures in there, like shrimp or something, it will kill them. So... If you do get a tentacle snake, you're basically getting a aquarium with a very tight, very secure lid just to house a living stick. Which, I guess is cool. <laughs> I guess it has its perks. If you guys want to see this uh, the snake in action, here's a video right here that I'm going to play in a second where you can actually see it eating. That's probably the most excitement you're ever going to get keeping a tentacle snake, but damn, don't they look cool, right? Do 
you guys want to see something really cute? That's an adult snake. It's not a worm. That's a snake. And that is the smallest species of snake on the planet, the Barbados thread snake. Discovered in 2008, its diet, like most other thread snakes and tiny little snakes, consists primarily of insects like ants. You can't get them in captivity, at least as far as I know, and considering the fact they eat ants, it would be kind of a pain in the butt anyways, but we could at least appreciate the fact that these exist, right? Like tiny little snake species that looks like a worm, that not like one of the cutest things out there. It's definitely deserving of a cool snake list, just because most people probably don't know that this little tiny earthworm thing exists, and it is, and it's actually a snake. So, yeah, cool, definitely. This is a really pretty snake, and it is called the Golden Flying Snake, also sometimes called the Ornamental Flying Snake, I think, I believe. If I get that wrong, I'll put that below. Anyways, the flying snake. It's really cool. And you're probably wondering, Brendan, snakes don't fly. And you'd be right. It just kind of falls. Falls very elegantly. It's a very elegant faller. Now, that may not sound all that impressive. You're like, okay, a snake falling. Okay, so what? And then you watch this video. Okay, you're back. Now, what do you think? Yeah, it literally drops itself from the tops of trees and then uses its body to catch itself like a monkey on another tree. This is a really cool snake. And I definitely think that it's deserving of being on the list. Now, that concludes the video on five really cool snakes. There's hundreds of really cool snakes, and I can definitely make another video on these if you guys want. If you found this interesting, let me know, and I will definitely do a part two. But thank you guys for watching. I am Brendan. You're watching Funky Geckos. Have an excellent day. Or night. I don't know where you guys are. Have a good one. Bye.